Hi, I'm Rob Finlay, Business Development Director at Cybertil. Um, and first of all, but much respect to Chris there, the points that he's just raised are incredibly vital in the work that you guys do in engaging with your supporters. And it's something that we ourselves as a provider of an EPOS solution also try and do whatever we can to remove the areas of error, um, the issues that are raised. So the reason I didn't bring slides today is I wanted to just bring along a little bit of technology here because when we started in charity retail 10 years ago, um, we didn't really have iPads, we didn't really have smartphones, um, and it was very much a mixture of electronic and paper transactions. Um, what we see nowadays is we see HMRC being particularly careful that the data you capture is accurate. So what we've tried to do is take that a step further. So of course you can sign somebody upon the EPOS terminal, but sometimes your till's busy. So we thought, how else can we make this a little better? So what we've now done is we've introduced tablets into this this field. And what we do, for example, that's a gift aid declaration. And the point of this is I can actually sign the screen when I'm doing my gift aid declaration. And we capture that electronically um, as an image. Um, and obviously there's a full audit trail for HMRC. But what we're now doing is removing all these piles and piles of paper declarations that we've all kept. And to help those that have got that, we allow you to scan those in and attach them to the record. So as far as HMRC is concerned, they can look at an original paper declaration scanned in as well as an electronic declaration. And it also helps us get this accuracy. So as we said before, with postcode lookup and with the emails that Chris was saying before, is that you can enter a postcode into the system with a capital first letter, a small second letter, the numbers in the middle with no gap, because we accept that volunteers and people using this might not be perfectly accurate all the time. But if we can get this accuracy, your gift aid claims are better and your engagement with your supporters are better. And that really is, is sort of my next step is we spend a lot of time thinking, how do we engage with a supporter? Um, how do we help, help you gain more revenues and more funds? How do we help you as a charity and as a hospice bring together those two wonderful teams that always work together, fundraising and retail? Um, and I'm sure you'll all understand that to a degree. So one of the things we've thought is, now, what else can we do in the store? So the first thing we did a couple of years ago was lottery. So you can actually buy a lottery ticket at the till and it will print the ticket. Uh, it records the details, so then work with your lottery solution provider um, to actually you know, help these people buy more tickets. And we thought, well, that's a great idea because what that's doing is it's sending people into the shop. And well, while they're in the shop, they might buy the lottery ticket, but obviously buy some more items. And we found it increases average transaction values. So again, we've been thinking more and more, what else do we do? And I was in, funnily enough, one of our charities. I won't say which one it was, but uh, and a lady came in and said, oh, I'd like to sign up for the mud plug. And the lady in the shop says, oh, I'm sorry, you can't do that here. And she says, yeah, but you are such and such a charity. And she went, yes. And she says, well, I've seen, I, I want, I've got my 15 pounds and I want to sign. She says, no, no, you can't do that here. She says, there's an envelope. Stick your check in there. Or go online if you want to. And I just thought, that's a supporter of the charity that's come into the shop because he's branded the same and they want to take part. And they, they were de denied probably too strong a word, but I thought there's got to be a better way. So what we've now done is we've worked together with one of the web ticket companies and we've integrated that into Cybertil as well. So if I'm in the shop and I say, I'd like to do the mud plug or any event you've got, they can literally buy that at the till and in real time, it will grab a space if you've limited capabilities for that particular event. So now we can say if you're in the store, you can sign up for the summer ball, you can sign up for the 11 o'clock mud plugger or the 5 o'clock one. It can also be done online, it can also be done on a mobile phone. So again, it's just taking that a little step further and thinking how do we help you guys engage with your supporters better. Um, and that's where the technology is coming through. And I know lots of charities say, but oh, my, my volunteers could, could never use a tablet. Um, and don't worry, it takes some training. But I walked into my mum's house the other week, she's 81 years old, and I says, what are you doing? She says, I'm just doing my, my online banking on my tablet. And I was like, oh, so you've got used to your tablet now. She says, oh, she says, I couldn't live without it now. And it is part of the new generations, the millennials, the Generation Z I saw the other day. I don't quite understand that one, but yeah, we'll get there in the end. But technology is more and more part of what we do. And if we use this technology to make your life easier, make your interaction with your supporters more accurate, engage them better, then it all makes the, the world a better place. And that really was what I was trying to say, was just embrace the technology. It can work. It can help you massively. Come over onto our stand and have a chat. You can actually do a little sign-up or two. Um, look at what we provide as well. Buy an event ticket if you wish. 
um, and we'll show you how it works and what it does. Lastly, of course, thank you. Um, Charity is a huge part of our business. Um, we've now got some 4,400 charity shops of all different shapes and sizes, from single stores to the big nationals. Um, you are incredibly nice people. You do things for, uh, for the right reasons, and I'm proud to be part of working with Charity Retail. Thank you very much indeed.